All right, Elden Ring, final thoughts. Here's what I think of the game after beating it. You know, first playthrough, I guess you could say. Um, all in all, well, let's start with the pros and then the cons. Pros, um, very, very awesome world. Love the dark theme. Love the just ambiance. You look over edges, it's just beautiful everywhere you look. It's amazing looking. It's so, it's very immersive. You can immerse yourself in the game. Um, that's what I love about a lot of the games I play. Um, as far as character development, that is beautiful. As far as how you can customize your character with the items you find, with the, the blacksmith and applying, uh, I guess like elements you'll call it, and um, and the, the special abilities and what, whatnot to the weapons, the art of wars. Uh, very cool, very cool system. Uh, certain gear g actually gives you stats or uh, boost damage to certain abilities. And other gear just looks cool and gives you decent, you know, armor and stats as well. Uh, just a very cool system for customizing a character, and I think a lot of games should take off of all these positives that I'm, that I'm talking about. I think a lot of games would do better with focuses in those types of areas. Um, boss fights, very unique, very different from another, uh, very uh, hard and difficult. Uh, they do reuse some, I guess, big monsters and, and whatnot, but I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, there's so many uh bosses in the game that the fact that some of them do get reused that's a small handful um yeah it doesn't really bother me much uh pvp is great uh i think it's awesome i think that's the future of this game is is the pvp um and uh, multiplayer exists it's not perfect but you know if you want to play with your friends you can um it's just a matter of pretty much getting them to help you with bosses or if you want to walk the world together you could do that as well or even pvp together that's pretty cool too uh, i think in the uh, the future of this type of game it is going to be mostly based on uh getting a world like this with character design and an open world like this uh, into a uh, multiplayer more of a multiplayer type of uh type of gameplay you know uh, let me and my friends get on our horses and go around and just and just smack things up, right? Um, I can see why that would be a lot different, but at the same time, that's actually why I bought the games because I thought that's what you would be doing. Uh, I never played an Elden Ring game, or I'm sorry, a Souls game ever before in my life, but I've seen people play it. Um, it didn't look like it was for me. I didn't think I'd like it. You know, I'd watch it. I think it's cool to watch, you know, uh, but I didn't want to rage out or, you know, try a boss 50 times and whatnot, but I, I played it. I got stuck on a few of the beginning bosses, of course. I went a different way, uh, did some easier things, got some levels, got some new gear, tried them out, and came back and whooped their butts. And uh, that's what we call justice, you know what I mean? Uh, and so that was fun. Uh, and then kind of once you get your first few tastes of justice like that, I mean, that's it, man. It's 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 gung-ho from there. You're, you're going. Um, and we went all the way to the end uh, and loved it. I mean negatives as far as the game goes i mean there was uh, they they need to optimize the graphics and stuff i mean i have a 1070 uh ti i'm sorry 1070 i have a 30 3070 i think yeah 3070 ti and i mean even on the lowest graphics it's hard for me to stream this game uh there's no integration with nvidia so i can't you know the g4 settings or whatever i can't do anything with this game with that which is kind of stupid uh, i really wish i could because then i could really fine tune it running smooth um a lot of these floaty sh bits on the screen are kind of i, I get it it's nice it's amb ambient but i mean it, it does put a lot on the graphics card and it's not necessary um, I wish we could turn that kind of stuff off to kind of just help it run smoother. Um, as far as uh, there, I mean, there are some bosses that are kind of just BS. There are some some tricks that they have that are BS, especially in some of the places. It's the area. It's not the boss, but like you might be in a hallway with this thing and like the area. It's kind of BS. But I mean, you know, if you if you grind some levels and then go to the boss and like you, you don't feel bad about it, right? Because there's B, they you know, if you BS by grinding levels or getting weapons that you know are there that are that you get kind of early in the game, uh, whatever cheese you do, it's validated because these bosses and these areas of them are cheesy, too. Uh, you, you know, you don't feel bad if you cheese some stuff because 
some of these fights are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so do what you can to get ahead. Absolutely. Um, PvP, there's some there's some lag, right? There's some lag. A little bit of balance issues as well. Um, but like I said, this isn't a main PvP game, but I do think if this game's going to go further, it's going to be DLC and PvP 100%. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I love this game. It's going to be a, a 10 out of 10. Uh... You know, and you'll see me die and say that I hate this game the second I do. And you know what? All the best games I've ever played, I said I hate at some point in the middle of playing them. So it's an absolute W. Um, yeah, and on that note, I think it is time to go and do it again. All right, Journey 2, let's go. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the, the next one. We stream all the time. We got to TikToks of clips of me raging and dying and whatnot. And uh, anyways, hit that subscribe button. Uh, much love. Peace, peace.